Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to control the hair color inside Sima 4D. Before getting started, let's take a look on what we're going to be creating. Right, we have this scene here as you can see it will be available to download in the, in the description so first let's create uh, I already created this uh, hair material and uh, let's create a, an, a new material for the our character capsule Let's create uh, the civil the reflectance go to color and in the texture choose a layer enter to the layer and uh, click shader add a noise first let's create a a multicolor here if you can understand or I'm, or I mean let's change the color of the noise Right, change the noise to electric, the octaves to one, and the space to UV to D. Increase the global scale to 200% and uh, the delta to 500%. And let's go to the high clip, edit to 65. And the brightness increase it to 3% and the contrast to 80 for example this is just an example create another shader noise go here and change the color as you can see change the, the noise to Dense and increase the octaves to 90, 50 maybe, and then change the space to the UV to D, and the global scale will be 400, the delta 500, and the brightness will be 3%, contrast will be 83, for example. Let's increase the octaves to 90 and uh, global scale to 150. Alright, now let's create another shader. This time will be a surface tiles and uh, let's change the color. Let's create something look like a B. Right, change it to yellow. This one too. Also, this one to black and grout wave to zero and the bevel wave to 20. Change the pattern to lines. Right. Add another shader. This one will be color. Let's change a a color that will meet our needs all right <clears throat> now go back to color tab and the decrease the brightness to zero and the mix trend to 50 percent we don't want this color to be to have any brightness or anything enable luminance also brightness to zero and go here click on this down in this uh, arrow here and uh, choose copy, copy shader go to luminance and paste shader change the mix string to 50% all right we have the shader copied in, uh, in the clipboard now 
attach this material to the capsule and um, go to here to the hair material and go color roots and the texture based shader all right we have this this result now you can see it's perfect now uh, I think uh, the animation will be a a very simple I'm gonna add a very simple animation let's increase the frames to 200 frames and uh, I'm not gonna move uh, the capsule just animate it very simply so let's open this one and this one is to have the And the, the hair color roots texture. Okay, we have this one here. Let's add a keyframe for the layers, for the three layers in the three materials tabs. Go to uh, 20, 20 frame 20, add another keyframe. Oh, this one is insane. Sorry. Color. Okay, go back to zero and the keyframe for the layer of the luminance. And another keyframe here. Now we're going to change the uh, the color to the B to look like a B and to um, we'll start from frame 30 to the frame 45 it's this one decrease the color to zero add a keyframe record these changes now this one will be will handle until the frame 60 and then in the frame 70 we'll add another okay frame it will change in frame 80 record these changes and now to handle to the frame 100 and from the 100 then to the 120 it will change to record these changes all right great and it will handle it to the end of the scene we have no problem with that actually right and and we can change the color too uh, from the 140 frames let's make this layer and uh, to the hundred 150 layers will sorry let's record another all right 150 and from the 100 if 
from the 148 the color gonna must change there 150 and they will change to maybe red something like purple let's copy this record it paste it here and paste it here again all right close this close these tabs and display as you can see it changes depends on the on the uh, the colors inside the layer as you can see this one under the two four can render this this one here let's see it's gonna look like a b a b a b hey what's up b this one will look like a cow something like cow or anything will look like that and this one will look so cool i love this uh, this color and this one will be changed to something like purple pink purple pink pink nice so this is the end of this tutorial I hope you enjoyed uh, if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and see you soon in the next upcoming tutorial.